When playing position, many professionals prefer to use center cue ball shots as much as possible. If additional cue ball manipulation is needed, patterns that only require hits along the vertical axis are preferred. When using follow only, the cue ball diverges off of the tangent line as shown in this diagram. Shots to the right or left of the vertical axis, which is often referred to as English, affect the path of the cue ball after it makes contact with the cushion as shown in this diagram. Shots requiring English are not preferred due to the fact that they create deflection, making shots harder to aim and missing more of a possibility. However, some patterns require the application of spin that are both away from the vertical and horizontal axis of the cue ball. The shot that I will focus on in this video is often referred to as follow with side spin. In these instances, the shooter is attempting to manipulate the path of the cue ball along its tangent line and after it strikes the cushion. To demonstrate follow with side spin, I'm going to set up a series of shots where the object ball and the cue ball will be in the same position, except in each of the series of shots I will be addressing the cue ball in a different place. Now, where I will be, you will see a clip before each shot uh, of a graphic where I will be uh, hitting the cue ball. Now, in this first shot, I'm going to pocket the object ball and I'm using follow only. Now make note of the path of the cue ball. In this second shot, as shown by the previous graphic, I'm going to be using follow in combination with right English. And notice the path of the cue ball. third shot, I'll be using the cue ball as shown in the graphic, and this is follow in combination with left English. There are many variables that affect uh, the behavior of the cue ball when you're using follow with side spin. Uh, the condition of the claw, uh, the consistency of the rails, uh, how high you hit on the ball from center to the top of the cue ball, uh, and then the combination uh, or the degree to which you use left or right English. Uh, another variable that affects uh, the cue ball the path is the speed that you hit it. Uh, that's going to affect where the cue ball moves off the tangent line. It's also going to affect uh, how much or how hard or, or what angle uh, the cue ball comes off the rail. Uh, I could really play all night and show you that there's an infinite amount of possibilities from this one shot. You really just have to set it up, practice it, and really get a feel for just how many possibilities there are.